When it comes to the flowering stage, the high pressure sodium lamp is the most popular lamp type to deliver high intensity lighting to a grow room. For a long time, HPS lamps only came in single ended types, meaning the lamp screws into a single socket. About 10 years ago, Philips developed and marketed a double ended HPS lamp for a greenhouse application. These bulbs attach to the fixture at both ends, hence the name. What's notable about these lamps is that based on data from lighting companies and confirmed at Utah State University, they are 25 to 30% more efficient than single ended HPS lamps. Later in this video, we'll test to see if that's true. The double ended lights that we sell can be used with a 240 volt outlet and a 110 volt outlet. A higher voltage outlet is recommended if you're a commercial grower because you can put more appliances on a 240 volt outlet. However, if you're a home grower, using a 110 volt outlet won't be too much of a problem because you won't be attaching too many appliances to the same circuit. Double-ended HPS lamp fixtures with electronic ballast are more expensive to purchase than single-ended, typically costing twice as much. The bulbs are also about 50% more. But their greater efficiency make it worth it after a few months of use. A double-ended bulb still has 90% of its intensity after the first 10,000 hours. That's pretty amazing. If you're just using one double-ended light, you don't have to worry about light uniformity. However, once you start using more than one light, we recommend hanging them at least 8 feet above your crop to avoid creating hot spots. Growth can be unpredictable when light isn't uniform, causing you to easily overfeed or underfeed your plants. This can be especially problematic in young plant production. We wanted to compare the PAR output and watts drawn of a 1000 watt single ended HPS bulb versus a double ended HPS bulb. We set a 24 by 24 inch grow area and made 9 evenly distance points. We set up a 1000 watt yield lab bulb and ballast, took its wattage and par reading. Then we set up a 1000 watt double ended yield lab HPS bulb and ballast, measured its wattage and par reading. Both lights were set up 41 inches above the ground. We set both ballasts to their highest setting. The double ended pulled 1100 watts and the single ended pulled 1115 watts. The double ended had a par average of 891 and the single ended had an average par output of 732. The double ended produced 22% more par than the single ended bulb. Click the link below if you want more information about our double ended lamps. There are a few more enlightening facts that we couldn't cover in this video, so check it out at growace.com. Be sure to subscribe for our weekly videos and I'll see you guys next time, bye. You might not be aware of this one common issue that's actually preventing you from getting the best yields of your life. Seasoned growers are worrying less and less